Do you smell what the rock is cooking? You can't see me suck it. And other wrestling catchphrases. Today, I am going to be taking a quiz where I try to match the famous catchphrase to the wrestler. So, let us begin. So, the first wrestler we have is Stone Cold Steve Austin. We have what's the bottom line, and that's the bottom line. I'm the bottom line, and the bottom line is here. Well, let me tell you what. I believe it's, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Mind you, I will be making a lot of bad wrestler impressions. So you've been forewarned. Moving on, question number two, Booker T, we have, can you dig it? Believe it. What's cracking and fruit booty? Now that would be hilarious if Booker T said fruit booty. Um, but everybody knows that the five time, five time, five time, five time, five time world champion Booker T says, can you dig it, sucker? If it had the sucker, I would have gotten it instantly. With we have Mick Foley at number three. So we have have a good day. It's a beautiful day on this day. Have a nice day. Well, I know it can't be on this day because Mick Foley doesn't see clearly now. So it has to be have a nice day. Yep. We're on question number four. Oh. We have SmackDown time. The Rock is back. If you smell... Gotta do the tongue. What The Rock is cooking and smell the greatness. Smell the greatness is a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty good decoy. That's gotta be if you smell what The Rock is cooking. Yep. Question number five. We have excellent execution time. I was screwed better than the best, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Well, tell you the truth, he's not one of my favorite wrestlers. I prefer Shawn Michaels, but I know Bret Hart's catchphrase, and it has to be the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be. Question number six, we have Diamond Dallas Page. We have Bang Bang. Which is probably wrong. Feel the bang. Who better? And feel the pain. I know he says bang, but I didn't know he said it in succession like that. This this is Cactus Jack or Mick Foley or whatever his persona is, right? Feel the bang? It's one it's so, it's something with a bang. Let's see. Um Let's do this. Yes! I have never watched WCW. I started watching wrestling uh, during when WWE had a monopoly, so that's why I don't remember. <laughs> that's a lie. Because I did play SmackDown, Shut Your Mouth, and it did have DDP. But I don't remember him saying Feel the Bang. Moving on, we have question number seven. Owen Hart, we have your nugget. Enough is enough. Say your prayers and take your vitamins and excellence of execution. And this is actually pretty tough because, like I said, I didn't watch it during this era. And um, Owen Hart is one of those wrestlers that, uh, you know, wasn't one of my favorites. I mean, you know, I respect him, what he does for wrestling. But, you know, I didn't watch Owen Hart. Uh, I know this is not his. So, um, let's just go ahead and go with enough is enough, maybe? Oh, well, there you go. Lucky guess. Moving on, we have Sting with question eight. We have it's game time, stinger time, it's show time. What time is it? Feels like stinger, stinger time is a, is a decoy. I don't know. Again, I haven't watched Sting. And the only catchphrase I know that I've been watching was the woo. Let's just go. It's showtime, maybe. Oh, 
I'm, I'm right. Okay, good. Question nine. We have Taz. We have I'm Hardcore, The Whole Effin Show, Suplex City. Beat me if you can't survive if I let you. Well, let me tell you. I am going to survive this quiz because it's this one. I do remember it. You know, I also watch a lot of wrestling content on YouTube and I get some of some of these references, so it's great. Next one we have question 10, the outsiders. We have hey yo yo hey or hey yo. And I believe oh, oh, I know it's not hey yo your hey. Hey yo. Yes. Okay. Question 11, we have Scott Steiner, we have Boom Shakalaka, I'm the dog face gremlin, holla if you hear me, all men were not created equally. <laughs> I didn't know why that's funny sounding, but it's gotta be, holla if you hear me, Big Papa Hump Pump is in the house. Moving on, we have question 12, Buff Bagwell, we have Meet Buff Daddy. Holler if you hear me, which is wrong. I'm buff and I'm the stuff and hello ladies. This one's a good good decoy, but um I gotta choose I'm buff and I'm the stuff. And that I can think to YouTube wrestling channels. Next up we have question 13. Road dog, we have what's up? You think you know me? Oh you didn't know and you don't know. Well, let me tell you something because I bet you didn't know because it's oh you didn't know okay moving on question 14 we have Raven so we have that's that's a Raven Raven I am Raven for life quoth the Raven nevermore it would be really great if it was that Sir Raven, because I, I could picture that, but it's got to be quoth the Raven nevermore. Thanks. <clears throat> All right. Got that right. Question number 15. We have the Undertaker. We have rest in peace. Burn in hell. Darkness is coming. Dead man walking. Well, let me tell you, everybody out there, you all shall rest in peace come on this this quiz i have not failed yet so let's keep that going so question 16 we have d -Lo brown i'm the world's most dangerous man pimping ain't easy you better recognize and i'm sexual chocolate again I don't know this one actually because I was not watching D'Lo Brown. Some of these catchphrases, I already know who they're from. So the only one that is different is you better recognize. So let's see if that's correct. And it is. Moving on, we have question 17. We have what's next, who's next, next, and next in line. Well, let me tell you. It's who's next. Oh god. Okay. Because <laughs> question 18 would have been easy if it was woo, but it's not. So we have to be the man, you have to beat the man. I'm the man if I could be serious for a moment and horseman for life. Well, let me tell you, it's to be the man, you have to beat the man. Question 19, we have I'm the king, I'm the game, you've got no chance in hell and game time <laughs> can, can you picture triple h saying game time i can't because it's definitely i'm the game though his newer music has uh, has him basically saying i'm the king but it's i'm the game question 20 we have jeff jared we have no gimmicks needed double j is here to stay don't piss me off and who better <sighs> Again, I was I didn't watch Jeff Jarrett, but I'm pretty sure it's this one. Don't piss me off, and it's coming from memory. Again, thanks to the wrestling YouTubers, 
that I watch. Question 21, we have Rick Rude, hands off the merchandise. Are you ready for the grind? Cut the music and hello, ladies. Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's cut the music. Question 22, we have Macho Man, Randy Savage. We have a yes, what? I'm gonna snap and ooh, yeah. And it has to be. <clears throat> can I can I do a Macho Man Randy Savage voice? Because it's ooh yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> that was bad impressions. Question twenty three of Eric Bischoff. We have shove it, stick it, bite me, and kick rocks. I didn't know Eric Bischoff had a catchphrase. Oh man. This I'm probably gonna get this wrong, but let's say I will get it right. Um, it can't be kick rocks. Um, stick me, no bite me, shove it. Let's go with bite me. Oh, I've never heard him say that from what I was watching. I have never heard him say bite me. Either way, we go to question 24, the Legion of Doom. And we end off, honestly, with an easy question. We have Fee of the Burn. Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. And what a rush. <coughs> and let me clear my voice because I know what it is. It is what a rush. Alright, so is that it? No, nope. we have question 25, Edge and Christian. We have, we reek of greatness, we reek of authenticity, we reek of winningness, and we, we reek of awesomeness. This one, honestly, honestly, could be a good decoy, but I know that Edge and Christian reek of awesomeness. So, let's see my results. A real wrestling fan can match the catchphrase to the wrestler. Can you? I scored 100%. The average score is 79%. So with that, I got 100%. Now I challenge you to see if you can get 100% on this quiz. And you can find this quiz on a site called thequiz.com. Just search up that title. And let me know in the comments below, what percentage did you get? Did you beat me or did you fail? So, thanks for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more awesome content, and I'll see you in the next video. Christopher, who?